We're here in the ornamental greenhouse at East Ruston looking at one of the most prolific, <laughs> is the word, of, of pests that we get in greenhouses at this time of year. And if I just move this, this geranium here, you can see the clouds and clouds of white fly that are coming off it. If you look on the back of this leaf here, look, they are, you can see them. Just clouds and clouds of white fly. They're a tiny, very tiny moth actually, they're not a fly at all, but they are a problem for gardeners in greenhouses in particular. A number of reasons, white fly spread disease, uh, they spread virus in particular because they, they will suck sap from the plants and they will transmit virus from one plant to another, which isn't good because once you get virus in a plant, it's very, very difficult to, to get rid of it, near impossible, so the plant has to be destroyed. Also for us gardeners, they will weaken the plant as well, white fly. If you imagine how many there must be on here, thousands of white fly on this one plant, they will weaken it. They are drawing sap from the plant and over time that will weaken the plant and it will lose energy. And also because they are sacking sap from the plant, they are obviously producing a waste product. And the waste product is honeydew. Uh, because they're taken in sap, which is a sugary substance, they excrete this honeydew out of the back. And you'll notice on, on some of the leaves, particularly these ones under here, if you look at the leaves here, you'll see that not only have we got copious amounts of white fly, but we've got this sort of black speckling. And the black speckling is sooty mould. And sooty mould is in the air all the time, but it particularly loves honeydew. So of course the problem for us is that the sooty mould grows on the honeydew. That black material blocks out the leaf surface. And of course the leaves need their uh, light to um, photosynthesize, to produce food. And of course, with the black on there, it can't do that. So it's another way that the plant's vigor is reduced quite dramatically. So there are a number of things the gardener can do to control white fly. Of course, we can quarantine plants when we get them. We can treat, you know, if we aren't organic, we can use a proprietary spray to, to treat the different generations that are coming. As you'll see further back in the greenhouse here, we've got these yellow sticky traps. And these are a really good way of controlling the white fly numbers because they are very much attracted to yellow. Uh, and so they're attracted to the traps. And of course the traps have like a glue, a sticky surface on them. Uh, and so the fly as they're called, but they're actually moths as we've always said, get attracted to those, get stuck. And of course then they can't reproduce. From an organic point of view, we can use something like um, a soft soap. And soft soap is a, a relatively old technique which has been used for many, many years. Uh, the modern way is to use something like washing up liquid. And that can be mixed with water into a spray and it can be sprayed on. And that will help control these numbers because the substance that you get in the washing up liquid almost sort of suffocates the white flies. That's a great organic approach. You can also get smokes which are available. You'll often have to clear the greenhouse out for those, but these smokes can be lit in the greenhouse on the floor at night. Make sure you damp the floor down first and the smoke will fill the greenhouse and it will, it will kill the white fly off. The other thing we can do is we can go for a, a non-organic approach. As I've said, we can use a proprietary uh, insecticide, which will be available from all good garden centres and nurseries. There are a number on the market. You will see what they've got on the box. They will tell you what they control. And if they don't say it in words, they will have little pictures. But the important thing is when you are spraying with some sort of insecticide is to repeat spray. I'll get lots of people who'll come to me and say, well, we tried spraying them, but it's not worked. The important thing is to repeat spray to catch the generations because white fly are producing rapidly. The greenhouse is warm, it's moist, there are lots of little nooks and crannies. So they're going to be producing young on a regular basis. So if you are going to spray with something which is not organic, then repeat that spray every seven to 10 days for three or four applications to catch those generations. One spray will get one generation, it won't affect any of the eggs or anything. The eggs will hatch and back the white fly comes. So providing you do that and you put up some yellow sticky traps and you quarantine your plants, your greenhouse should be free of these quite devastating pests. Alan's been round and he's put all these little cardboard tags in all the greenhouses and it's something new that we're trying early this year, which is a little cardboard 
plate, which you'll see in the centre there, lots of little black dots, and this contains Encarsia formosa, which is a tiny, tiny parasitic wasp which absolutely relishes a glass house full of white fly because what it will do is it will go around, it will find your white fly in the glass house and it will predate on them. And quite gruesomely, it will lay its eggs in them. Um, its young will develop within the white fly and they will hatch out and they will then go on to uh, attack more white fly in the greenhouse. So you need a small amount of these and their numbers will increase quite dramatically. And that's because your greenhouse is nice and warm and it's sheltered. Now, of course, you have to remember with any biological control that it is dependent on having a pest in your greenhouse. So if the actual Encarsia, the little wasps, get rid of all your white fly, there'll be nothing for them to feed on and then they will die out themselves. So you have to understand that there may well be the tiniest amount of white fly left, but that's really good because it means that there's something for this beneficial insect to feed of. Traditionally, we've sort of seen the white fly, it's got a foothold and we've sprayed, but with these, we're on top of it early and hopefully it will see them in good stead. I'll fairly like somebody else. Oh no! <laughs> Can you see? All the ants, all the ants the All the flying ants that are ready to go. Look at them, look, you see them in there? Yeah. Are you right? You see, you look down here, look. All the, they're nurturing all the flying ants, ready to set up a new colony. Yeah.